Hi everyone. Now you can build RAG application using Olama embeddings with better performance compared to OpenAI embeddings. For this application, we are going to ingest data from a URL, convert those into embeddings and store it in a vector database. So when we ask a question, a relevant data will be sent to Olama. And finally, we get more relevant answers at a faster pace. So for those who are not aware of Olama, Olama is a tool that allows you to run open source LLMs like Llama, Mistral locally on your machine. So your data stays with you and resulting in a faster significant response. With all your data being processed locally, you maintain the complete confidentiality of your data, making it an ideal choice for those who prioritize privacy. So today we'll be using open source LLM Mistral and an embedding model from Olama to build our RAG application. For this application, as I mentioned, as you see the process, we, we take a URL and then start converting them into embeddings and storing them in a vector database. And using Olama, we use uh, the open source LLM Mistral and also the embedding and we get a response. So that's how this whole application works. Now let's also understand what kind of models can be accessed from Olama. So here are the models what you can access from Olama. It's all are open source. So there's Gemma, Llama 2, Mistral, Lava, Code Llama as well, and also a few embedding models. So today, as I mentioned, we'll be using Mistral 7B model released by Mistral AI updated version. And this apparently outperforms Llama 2, 13 billion on all benchmarks, outperforms Llama 1, 34 billion on many benchmarks. And we will be using an embedding model, nomic embed text. This apparently is, has a lot larger context window than OpenAI embedding. So it's perfectly suitable for, for people who, are, who would like to build advanced RAG applications. So that's about Olama. Let's quickly jump. How can we download Olama and how can we build applications using Olama? First, you have to start by downloading Olama locally on your computer. Go over to Olama and click on download. It's available for Mac, Linux, and also Windows. So once you downloaded Olama, head over to your terminal and say Olama run Mistral. If you want to use Llama, you could also say Llama, uh, Olama run llama and then click on okay i've already downloaded so i won't be doing that once you're done with olama run mistral just say olama pull mistral this basically pulls the model so once you're done with this we'll be installing all the necessary libraries as i mentioned we'll be building this application using streamlit web ui so we'll be um, using streamlit library over here and we'll be also using Chain community tools over here for example splitting our text into chunks and we'll be using chroma db for storing a vector database i would just say pip so these are the libraries you need to install langchain langchain community langchain core streamlit chroma db and tick token for our application so it says requirement already satisfied for me because as i've already installed this so once you're done uh, with installing all the necessary libraries and pulling your llm using ulama we'll create a new file called app.py uh, so start by importing all the necessary functions and modules as i mentioned we are importing streamly and from langchain community we'll be just using web based loader chroma db and uh, embeddings and, you know from launch and community LLMs, we'll be using Olama and characters to split our text into chunks. So these are the modules you need to import. Once we are done with importing all the modules, we'll start writing the code. So we'll start by initializing the model and also uh, write a function for URL processing. So just URL process, find process, import. So what we are doing here, you're basically creating an instance for Olama model named model local and specifying the model type we want to use. We are using Mistral over here. And this is a function we set up to process our URL so that users can enter their uh, URLs and ask a question. So we have to continue with the URL processing. We'll be using web-based loader. Web-based loader is nothing but it's used for loading documents from the web. We would want to uh, uh, users to use multiple URLs and we'll separate this with a line. So just say URL list. So what we are basically doing over here is loads document from each of the URL that a user has entered in the list. And using web-based loader, we are combining all the documents into a single 
list and we are using a variable called docs list and that's what we are doing here, here and the next stage basically consists of three steps basically converting this document text into chunks and then convert those into embeddings and storing them in a vector database and performing the write so the first step here is split the text documents into chunks so we'll be using text splitter over here so, and we'll be using the function called character text splitter this is from launcher community tools and you can mention the chunk size and also the overlap and the next part is storing it in a variable so we'll be creating a variable called doc split text splitter and we'll say split documents using docker list yeah so once we are uh, done with splitting the documents into chunks we have to convert those into embeddings and store it in a vector database so we'll say convert into embeddings and store it then will be so first we'll start by creating the vector store so here we'll be using chroma for vector store chroma from documents and the documents are nothing but the doc splits what we have mentioned above and we'll have to mention the name we'll mention collection name is equal to rack chroma and now we have to convert that into embedding so just say embeddings we have to do that from olama olama embeddings and the model we'll be using over here is nomic embed embed text apparently it is before it has a better performance than openai embeddings and it has a larger context window so it's perfect for building advanced drag applications so we'll embed text and we'll you be using a retriever for our vector storage so what we are basically done over here is create a vector store from goma and then you know converting those chunks into embeddings using olama embedding and then uh, retrieving those from a vector store now the third step is to perform the rag so we'll be saying after rag template this is a variable i want to like to define and the system message over here is answer the question based only on the following context we'll make we'll mention what is the following context below so what we have done basically over here is set up a chat prompt template for the model to generate answers based on the context provided by the retriever and then the processing chain is defined to pass the context to the question to the model pass the string output and return the answer so the chat prompt template we are again using from launch and community tools and then the context is nothing but what we are retrieving using a retriever from a vector store that's it that's basically three steps what you have done over here split the document into chunks convert checks into embeddings and store them in a vector database and perform the run once you're done with we can begin with streamlit features that you if you want to see this application on a web interface we'll be using streamlit over here streamlit ui so we'll set up the streamlit ui with title the title is maybe document query with olama and we'll write a bit of description so you use st.write in streamlit enter urls maybe mention one per line and a question to query the document and we have to provide the text input so that the users can uh, input their urls ui for input field urls is, so we'll provide an area where users can and then we have to set up a button to process the input this is the submit button so we'll say if sub t dot button is query that's it that's it the button is set up we'll also use st dot spinner so it's basically a validation clue for our user that their uh, input is being processing and then we have to finally set up um, the answer which is you know processing the input in the urls and the question and in a text area you will see an answer so that's very simple ui just you know having a title and a bit of write-up providing two input fields for our user so that they can enter their urls and a question and just having a text area at the end so that the users finally can see their answer so that's it that's a very simple rag application using olama so once you are done writing the code just enter streamly to run and the app name m.5 a py over here and then you'll have a link for your local host click on it and you'll end up here so this is how your web application looks like 
um, basic title document query with Olama. So all you have to do is start entering the URLs. You can enter as many as you want. So I'm here entering two URLs, uh, Wikipedia pages of Bill Gates and Jeff Bezos. And I'll start asking question, who is Bill Gates, for example? Okay, query documents, just processing. So you see a very detailed info on who is Bill Gates, all from the Wikipedia page, what we have. That's a very simple rap application using Olama and open source model Mistral all in your computer so that your data is not being shared with anyone, which is really cool. So if you would like to see more such use cases running LLMs locally on your computer, please do let me know in the comment section. I'm excited to sh share more such tutorials. Thank you for joining today. If you like this tutorial, please consider giving it a share and subscribe. See you in the next tutorial.